Let's talk about the tab Advanced under the Settings section on the Safe DNS dashboard. It'll tell you about additional features on this tab. Also, you can get full information about the settings in our guides under the Help section. The Advanced tab allows you to manage additional functions, such as Safe Search, Block Page, Active Directory, and others. Let's look at each one separately. Please pay attention to the drop down list on the left. Here, you select the filtering policy for which you are making settings. In the Settings section, you can turn on or off Safe Search or Restricted Mode for YouTube for the policy. If you use the Active Directory service in your network for its correct operation with SafeDNS filtering, you will need to use a special version of the SafeDNS agent or add your domain controller to the dashboard. Please see the guides for detailed information under the section Help. Enter your Active Directory domain, for example, localdomain.com, and click Add. As you can see, the form for adding primary domain controller appeared below. Here, you can enter your primary domain controller's name with its IP address. Also, you can add secondary domain controllers if needed. After that, the access to the local resources will be granted. Under the Block Page section, you can create block pages that you can later apply to different filtering policies under the Policy tab. Under the Block Page section, you can create block pages that you can later apply to different filtering policies under the Policy tab. The standard block pages list displays the block pages that have already been created by default, which you can add to the Personal Blockages list. The Personal Block Pages list displays the block pages that you can apply to your filtering policies. To add a block page, click Add New, a form for adding opens. Add the name for your page and specify Appearance. Depending on the selected appearance, additional options will appear. For example, for a personal block page, you will need to enter text and add an image that will be displayed on that block page. A field for adding HTML code will open for the HTML block page. After selecting all the parameters and adding the necessary data, click Add. A new block page has been created. It is now available in the Policies tab for application. Most often, the alias function is used to provide users with access to local resources, for example, in an active directory environment or just on a local network. Add domain name of the local resource and its local IP address, and click Add. Your local resource will be accessible in three to five minutes for the policy you have chosen in the top of this page. That's all for the Advanced tab. More information about filtering settings you can find in our guide section under the tab Help.